Is this the one that they're saying that's on the ground? Uh, yes. Okay. You're looking right into it. I need a place to pull over here. Day. Oh, Power explosions. In, incoming, incoming. Oh my god. What the hell is that? That thing's, look at, look at this. Building, exterior, ripped apart. What an absolutely incredible show. The whole sky, the whole sky just lights up. We're going to really stay focused on our A-game. Not at risk of both type of tornadoes, EF2 to EF5. A few tornadoes and a couple of intense tornadoes possible. Power vents up to four inches. I'm tempted to come off Glasgow. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 252. Effective until 10 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. GPS location, Fairview. Oh, extremely strong. We're in a safe position, a safe option. We can go north, in this case, north uh, east through Sydney, obviously going through traffic. 4.32 p.m. It's still a work day, there will still be work traffic. Storm sitting still, pay back the radar. It really, it's barely moving anywhere. So if it's gonna to start to do stupid things, unless it starts moving, I think this thing's gonna run off a boundary and sit still. They say they're moving 30 miles an hour, but they're, they're really, they're not, they're sitting still. Oh geez, this thing's really going up quick. This thing is going up very, very, very quick. Let's see how this is like. Baby dirt road, but we're okay. And we're near power lines, so we can actually get out if we needed to. It's 3.36 p.m. Uh, Mountain Daylight Time. We're on the border of Montana, North Dakota. We're just to the south of Sydney in Montana. Watching the updraft of this uh, supercell develop. Uh, a lot of lightning in the storm. I'm actually quite worried about what could happen today. Significant tornadoes are possible, EF2 to EF5. This is the area of updraft. We're watching here, we're watching there. The thought was to go across at Howell Corp, but right now we're watching the updraft perfectly from this position. There is gate-to-gate -gate shear on this cell. We're watching just in here for levels of rotation. It's going to be a dangerous day today. I think we need to keep our focus very much on this storm and the road network and avoid all dirt roads at all costs. Hey Tanya, how you doing? Um, do you want to tap into that? Do you want to send through a little request? I'll send, send you a link to that live stream or just um, actually send me a message on Messenger and I'll send it to you directly. You just tap into the live stream. No wall cloud at the moment, uh, just little, little areas of r rotation. Is it tornado warned yet? No. Does it need it yet? No. Is it going to need one soon? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Are we on the same page? Yeah, yeah. Um, send me. Yeah, that's fine. You'll have a link in about 30 seconds. Bye. That's NWS uh, Glasgow. Uh, she'll be doing the warning coordination for this storm, so we don't even need amateur radio as long as we can keep a live link up. You're going to hear me reference this quite a bit. Area rotation. We're just going to scan across the base very, very quickly, just so Tanya can see the, the storm base really, really easily. Here we go from left to right. We're looking to the southwest at the moment. Slow pan across. Gives you a general idea there's a manhole core. Air rotation to watch. Yeah, more cloud? No. This yeah no but tornado warning is on that area very possible. 
because that's done a rotate it has a little bit more distinct area just in that spot there you got the close up it's going to pull you a little bit wider keep an eye on this area 3:42 p.m mounted at daylight time this is the area to watch tornado warning has just been issued for the sydney area and uh, areas around the vicinity of sydney in uh, montana there's no tornado spotted rotating wall cloud i'm not going to call that yet as a rotating wall cloud there is a degree of rotation and a lowering it's not quite distinct but it's the area we need to watch just there main how core is to the right significant how core that could affect sydney as it goes to the north northeast but the area we're watching here is the updraft and this is the area we need to watch very very carefully if there's an rfd it's going to be wrapping around just there it's early days but that's the area we need to watch very very carefully that's the area if a tornado was to form that's where we're going to see it early days but tornado warning has now been issued and we have a significant risk of uh, tornadoes and how up to four inch based on where that rotation is we may have to shift further south gonna have to watch that very very carefully I'm not really worried about what's on the right it's what's happening down here and we may have to just drop south or come back into the Sydney area moving very very slowly the rotation is going to come straight for us how is going to start arriving very very shortly as well so this is judgment call people where do you go do you go further south this is where we need to make a judgment call very very quickly we do have a road on 68 that can get us around it's not that bad because it's shifting out slightly and we may just exercise that option 23 goes to 68 goes to alexander goes to fairview we can reassess it and come up from there except we are crossing a river crossing we do have county road three which takes us across into fairview though into cartwright bridges the edge of the sydney storm so we've got some options we do have an option here how cause wrapping around Um, 25 30 into this storm, no tornado spotted. Give it a little scan of the whole base. How cool wrapping around. Another area of rotation you need to watch just in there as well. Two areas of rotation on this storm, just in there. I don't see anything too specific in there. While we're here, I'm just going to show you the center part of the core. The structure of the storm is really quite incredible. Watching this whole meso rotate round. Tornado warning still exists. No tornado spotted. Jesus, big Okay, 1.25 inch. Um, maybe one. This thing's gonna start getting us soon. Here we go. Uh, 1.5 inch. One inch, one inch falling now, Tanya. Holy hell. Okay, we need to exercise our, yeah, we need to exercise our escape option. So we're gonna do a quick spot and network report. Tanya, unless you're acknowledging. 1.25 inch, uh, one inch, 1.25 inch falling now. 
Yep, confirm 1.25. I won't measure it. Because I'll just pop me in the head. Let's see if I can get a better verification. 1.25 inch. Uh, nothing above 1.5. 1.25 inch for me now. I'll quickly log it on Spotter Network. Take me two seconds to do that. And 23 is our option. There's the south part of the updraft. Looks like the whole cell is becoming one big cell. Early days, tornado warning still off the back. Got him. Oh, look at this. For 29 Mountain Daylight Time, this is a current view of the uh, supercell. A very wide hail core. Moving its way across Highway 68, paying off to the left, showing you just the greater structure as we turn around. The key here is to uh, keep a wide berth on the storm so we can kind of see what's going on at a structure level. Now, as far as rotation is concerned, I do want to show you the southern part of the storm. Let me just reverse back a bit position to do so without going off the road. Have a look at this, not the best of shots, but you'll see it. Careful not to roll off the edge here. Here we go, a little bit, a little bit of a ditch here. I do want to show you the southern part of that storm. Just in there. See that? Very high based. A little bit of rotation there, a little bit of movement, it's, just, it's all scud though. Um, I'm sort of more interested in what's happening a little bit further south, just in there. But again, it's it's all elongated. Um, it's, as far as I'm concerned, all outflows, nothing like it was before, when it was clean and wind was being sucked into it. And that's the full southern structure. This is the cell currently looking south at the moment. It's not much, it's, it's a pretty structure, but a little bit of an updraft base on the back that would represent the north, the southern howl core. Um, I don't think the northern part's going to do it. side just in there fairly strong inflow winds coming to this no longer being rained on and looks like we've got some gate to gate shear in here as well so going forward is not such a great idea at the moment Should this be tornado warned? 
I tell you what, yeah, borderline. You could do and not do it. That's kind of where the rotation is on the southern end. In there, and possibly just in those two areas there. But a good, good view of it. I don't see anything which says tornado, not yet anyway. Got a new meso forming to the south. Yeah, yeah I'm watching that. You see it the down there, one, look at um, it cutting in down there, and you got a lowering. You're you're talking about just in there. There's one, uh, and look, the other one at watching is just in that. Yeah. We'll have a look at my screen, you Eric. Can't, just Eric, above the trees, Eric, you can see it. Just there. Look at my screen. Yeah. Just in that one there, but also watching that little lowering in there. Yeah. And just the whole meso in its, in its own right. Yeah, that that's now borderline wall cloud just in the rain-free back well, semi-rain-free base. Yeah, well, uh, really good borderline right actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's trying. Yeah, Tanya friends has uh, tapped into the, the stream. That's now a wall cloud. What's that? That's now a wall cloud. Oh yeah, yeah. That's trying. Right now. And I, I like where it's at with this other meso. There's yeah. two mesos here. There'll be a tornado warning, I think. Tornado, tornado warning. Good yeah, they've torn out a wand up. That's the area we're watching right now, very carefully. Nothing yet. It's trying though. I still think the north ones are going to do it. A couple of funnel reports. Right now, anything? Whoa, 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 watch that carefully. Carefully. It might be happening. Funnel, possible tornado. Tanya, on the brink, on the yeah, going to put this as a funnel report. Could be a tornado report in a minute. Yep, no, uh, not a full confirmation yet, Tanya. She's close though. Very, very close. It's gonna be a funnel point. Funnel's lifted so slightly. Yeah, it's, it's lifted up just a little bit. Uh, 10 miles. miles. The, uh, west, southwest. Lasted. Minutes. Still partially halfway. Still partially. Okay, eight miles to the west southwest lasted two and a half, two minutes and a half way, still partially formed. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nope. Now gone. Final cloud. She was close though. Very, very close. It's trying again.
kidding. Uh, we may still have. Um, we may have a full tornado. I think that's a tornado right there. Um, very, very close. I'm going to say about to call it. Hot. Huh? Yep. Yep. Yeah, um, is this the one that they're saying that's on the ground? Uh, yes. Okay. You're looking right into it. So, so this one's a lot further away than the one they're saying. No, that's the same position. Okay, because they were saying two, 10 miles southwest of... That is the one you're looking at right now. Okay, sounds good. Okay, my friend. Yeah, put it down as confirmation. Confirmation. Yep. Stove pot. Yeah, Tanya, you're tapped into it. It's not all the way to the ground. But it's so close. It's disturbing a few ants. The width is going to be a debris path about, oh, whatever it's going to be, 50 yards. 50 yards. That's the biggest structure. Yeah, it's three quarters of the way there. Maybe just a little bit over three quarters. Got a good view of it at the moment. There's back roads, but right now I'm happy where we are. Just make sure streaming okay. You guys can see all that. Still ongoing, three quarters formed at the moment. A little bit embedded into the rain. It's a partially rain wrapped, partially. It's dissipated a little bit. It's gone back into the clouds a little bit. It's going to be a lot of uh, back road. It's a, it's a good paved option, but it's just, all, it's just all going through sort of on 16, <laughs> which is all um, paved road going through a house court. Not really ideal. Uh, and the tornado warning, Tanya, if you're smiling at the moment, where that uh, tornado formed and where the warning is, it actually doesn't match. The confirmation is actually to the south. It's becoming a bit on the rain embedded side. Now, with that, how long that actually lasts for, it's, it's be between the core itself. Um, so here's the question. There's a mesoscope discussion out when I reach very, very quickly. Uh, discrete semi-discrete which continue to mature on the surface of the severe our reports of the mesoscope and new convictions attempting to develop a dry line across northwest, uh, southwest North Dakota. Uh, although some low winds have slightly veered, those regions will form. Okay, so here's the question. We're, we're there. Big cow call down south. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw, yeah, I, I, I saw the, the ground was probably about six, seven minutes at yeah. least. Um, what's your thought? Going south on 16, it's going to move anyway. Um, but here's the question. Uh, there's no roads. 
Um, Dude, well, I just keep going east. And then yeah, look, well, there's the thing is this back roads in North Dakota gets us down to Canada at 38, and then it goes, oh my god, into yeah. no, no man's land. You got a good walk out of there still. I think it could do it again. Yeah, well, the thing is, it's coming towards us. I mean, so some people right right near it. They have a new funnel coming on the left. Here. You are correct, right there, off the left hand side, where it's actually quite visible. The one just on the leading edge this is why you don't go into the core. Eh, not really. No, that's died, Maddie. That's good. Oh uh, well, no, it's still kind of. It's trying. It's trying. Not very well, but it's trying. So you can go south on 16, but it's just it gets you deep into no man's land. That's the question. And if so, what is the best option for road network? And looking at our road options here, 16 is a great road option if you want to go straight down into the core. And it's almost half tempting if you want to go straight into the core, down, 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 then across, but then you're um, 16 keeps going south you want to keep doing that and there's nothing else further south you cut off um, there's nowhere else to get round to it now based on where the rotation is we're going to go a little bit further to the um, um, to our east we're going to make our way to the intersecting roads yeah Eric um, Eric I'm going to go uh, yeah but I'm, I'm going to go further east so I can at least see into this damn thing yeah, it, contrast, yeah it is, yeah. But up to you, what do you want to do? That's Eric Fox. Oh, you got that, bro. Oh, no, it's okay. I just don't like stuffing up people's time lapses, that's all. <laughs> oh, well done. Michael Winsky, fantastic. Have some fun with Mike. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, Mike, you got it. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. Don't knock the cameras over. That would really suck. I can't. I was. I was to. I was to the north. I missed the whole thing. Oh, this was a great angle for. I was, I was a bit closer, but I was looking. This, was, this was ours um, from here. So, oh my god, you did actually really well from here. Yeah, yeah, we did. I'm very surprised it actually looked this good from here. Yeah. But this is this is a this is chaseable. I'm gonna get my camera out. Right hand side. It's gonna bring the car forward a bit. Watch that. Okay, let's get the um, shutter remote. Might do it again. It's just with perfect positioning. Let's have a look at, make sure we're in the right spot. We are in the right spot. Stream's good. Stream's good. That's the warning. I, I, I can't see anything. Yeah, it, I don't think so. No. Tanya, I'm just going to zoom in for you if you want to look into it. Have a look at it. I see a little cone popping down, down from the top. I can't see anything. Good, good. The couplet would support that. Like, I don't know. 0081. I don't see anything with a large tornado in progress. I see a little cone thing, funnel, but nothing much more than that. Might be something there on the right side of the big wall. 
0081 Yeah, this thing's rain wrapped. This thing could be smack bang in the middle, we just can't see it. Moving very, very slowly though. Incredible motion the entire meso. Can take you outside for a second. All the, all the guys. Tornado in progress. Stas is usually pretty. Glad we moved when we did. We may even have something form. Keep an eye on that down south there. This is not over yet. Looking inside, we can't see anything inside that. Jeez, a load of winds. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Jeez, a load of winds in this thing. It's just, it's a good. Whatever's in there is, 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 well, have a look. See if it's, I can't see a tornado there. Maybe I might be able to There's no way. I put it in a 1% chance. Huh? Oh, wow. This was the place to be, amazingly. This actually was the place to be. Tanya, still watching. Um, just looking there. That's the, before I drive away, just want to show you very quickly. That's the area of rotation. All cloudy looking funnel looking thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely tornado warn it. There's no two ways about that. What's in it? It's rain wrapped. Whatever is in there, it's um Actually there could be a looking deeper into the core. Very much rain wrapped. You can see the upper level of the cone as we just look it deeper into it. We're going to be closer to see this.
at 6.54 p.m. Central Daylight Time or 5.54 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 11 miles southwest of Alexander or 16 miles east of Sydney, moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. I kind of don't want to move for a minute. I actually don't really want to move at the moment. I mean, that looks like a wedge, but I mean, we, we both know it's a brain core, but we don't really know what's truly in there. I mean, there's a lot of rotation in there. There is a lot of rotation in there. Yeah, we've got a new area of rotation, it's just to our south. So the, here's the question, have a look at what we're doing, make sure there's no one behind us. What do you do? This is the new area of concern. And I reckon, it's it's sitting still, I'm just trying to work out exactly, well hang on, it's still in Montana. The storm's in Montana right now. 16 goes all the way down. I say we go 16 and drop it. I say we go 16 and drop it, we've got time. We got time. It, it's in Montana. We let this one go. We're going for that one. Here comes round two. No traffic. No traffic. Okay, round two. Uh, three over three quarters of a tank. We're good. There. Wave that one goodbye. We're now going to straight down that one. Still very active lightning producer, still still, still tornado watch. South. I suspect the same environment that uh, set off the first one is actually still down here as a boundary or whatever it is down here. You watch this will be a severe, severe. <laughs> Ten bucks says this will be severe for down here. Oh my god. Look at that. That looks pretty. Very interesting storm down south. Very interesting storm. <laughs> You're thinking like, is he actually going to stop? I love how you flinch first. What you thinking on the south one? I think they need to hit the boundary up here. Yeah, that, like yeah, and yeah. Beautiful shots from actually quite far away. You got the tornado? Yeah, no, I got the tornado from back from another road. Uh, Mark Abinsky got a beautiful shot, like, from way, way further away. Did he drone it, drone into it? Uh, no, we almost launched. So. Oh, that was good. I'm going to go further down. We've got a little... Look at that ball. Yeah. Have you done this road here, this back road? Yeah. Have you done it? Yeah. Everything's pretty cool over here. Yeah, but you, you've actually driven that road before? Yeah. Okay. Good, good to know. Okay. But yeah. don't think, don't think that it's going uh, uh, that didn't hit you. That would have sucked. There's a bit of a mothershipy looking thing on here. The tip is behind us. 
And this thing's looking very interesting, visually. Get this over the hill. Wow, what a looking storm. Quite warm air coming to this too. It's picking up. Oh my god. The thing ran on here just a little bit. It's, it's holding still. It, it ain't moving. Yeah. It ain't moving. Yeah. Tanya, that's um, that's your area of rotation. There's no roads out there. I didn't know there's not, but we're in a safe just spot. We have a safe spot out. Just watch out. Lightning CD strikes. Remember AEDs in the back. Mm. We're not using the AED there. Yeah. I'll be good. Holy hell. Wow. Let me get this online quickly. I got a great shot of you. Got your live stream going? Yeah, live stream's going. All good. There should be thing happening here. Watch this, because this is where it could happen, right in front of us.
few. I reckon we should confirm that. What do you reckon? Likely. My God. My God. We're on a good road, Eric. Don't get your tripod out.
wrapping around, lightning strike, wrist goes through the roof. In the car, now. What you're thinking? Uh, this thing's it's just in front of us. Is it which way is it going? North or turning east? It, or right now on radar, it's kind of oh, going north. We're we're clear. We're we're. So we're, let's get behind it up here. Uh, that's what I'm. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But right now we're, we're clear. Lightning strikes my biggest uh, worry for everyone right now. But right now we're looking right into the main core. There's oh, no yeah, tornado at the moment. It's, it's, it's recycling. Right it's right. recycling right. It's it's right in front of us. Yep. Okay. That's RFD. Wow, look at this. Oh my god. That was a good call, Eric. That was a very, very good call. I have no data. <laughs> I've got data. I tell you what, yeah. You got that shot? Another round. Oh my god. We're, we're outside the rain core, there's less risk of risk to us right now. Tripod it. Why not? It's gonna do it at some point. It's it's picking back up again. Yeah, you get vertical motion on the left. Another little rotation to the right as well. Going for a bit of a run. I just lost my camera. Straight through the windshield. That's okay, it's already cracked. I'm going, it's right in front of us.
we're going to get a better shot of it and go north. It's going directly north. That's where we're looking right there. That's where we're looking right there. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Not that I can see. Anything where there may be something of interest. Yeah, it's just in there. A little bit of a funnel coming down just at the moment. A little bit of funnel. Main how of course, sort of past the road a bit. So Tanya, that's um, that's a dissection of the entire storm at the moment. I don't see anything down toward in there. A little bit of rotation just above our head, <laughs> but nothing really. Which says tornado to me. Reed, I'm heading south. New oh, yeah. new storm cells yeah. just formed just an, again. I don't know what that is. It's, right now it's just a rain shaft, as far as I can tell. So the little couplet we've got is here. I'm wondering what's gonna happen just here. So we're gonna find a place to pull over. I'm very, very curious. That works. That works very well. Okay. Just got a big hull core down south. We've actually got a bit of rotation just in the leading edge to the north. A little bit in here. This is a little bit on the anticyclonic side. I'm not seeing anything down south, but we are seeing an increase in shear to our north between these cells. A lot of lightning activity as well, but I think this is cell interaction between these two at the moment.
biggest storm at the moment is just to our south and across here. K19 TSU. TSU 439-750-VK2 after the responding send. Daniel Spence, did you get the tornado? If you did, congratulations. No, I was in, um, I picked Iowa as the target today, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I just passed you, so I can't believe you on that one. But uh, it wouldn't surprise me, Iowa tends to do that. No, 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 this is just radio skip. That was another um, That was another car with a, a periscope antenna. And Dan is not taking shots at the moment. You can't hear the shot in the background. I figured uh, you just had that thing, you know, remote controlled by now. Yeah, no, no, that's not, that's not me. <laughs> Chasers coming over from Australia, you never know which one's which. Yeah, it was me. Yeah, congratulations. I'm trying to get a lightning shot right now. Say hello to everyone. Say hello to everyone. What up, internet? here too because it's 8 o'clock and it's not even close oh, to dark yet. Gosh. How's that people? How is that? Handheld, run a single feeder cable and just put them in the hole here. Does it get it? Oh my god, look at the motion of the sky above us. Are you kidding me? It's hitting the warm front again. Oh my god. It's like it's getting all warm. Whatever's happening here. Watching this. What a way to end the day! What a way to end the day! I hope this moves over those over there. Then he lost the picture. Oh my god! Look at this. Oh my god, look at this. Holy crap.
Is that new little cell that's popped up just in front of us? of this storm into the other storm, I think it's going to be a worry. You got a stationary storm? I've got to say I'm a little bit on the worry side here. Let's get some fuel before we lose power out to half a state. Just on the edge of this thing. Wow. Some strong wind in here. Not all the structure in here at all. I thought there'd be a lot more, but there isn't. Okay. Quick, quick refresh. While we, we sit back and relax and enjoy this storm coming towards us. And we just lost power. Gas station's gone. Yep, we've just lost power. And that's why we got fuel. Um, let's see if it re-trips. Lots of power. So let me just get a message to Tanya. Mm. Pass you back up. Come on. winds here. We got some really decent winds. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here's the down drops. Come on. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Did you hear that? Power explosions. Just there. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, we got we, we may have something scary happen in a second. See that uh, 15 mile per hour sign? No, oh, Jesus. Debris. Uh, we've got about 80, uh, possibly up to 90 mile per hour gust here. And that sign's about to come off. We're getting out of the way. That could come off and come straight for us. Let me just get out of the way of this. Oh my god. 69. Measured. Oh, 
got debris rolling we got debris rolling towards us whatever that is uh, I don't know what that is oh in, incoming incoming oh my god what the hell is that we got a rolling pin thing going on here what the hell was this thing? That is a um, piece of farm equipment. 69 miles per hour. Yep. We've got lights bending at the moment. We're going to just make sure we're not in the debris path right now. My God! Don't ever think just a tornado warning by itself is dangerous. Not for a minute. There's something else going on here. There's something else going on here. International Weather Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Got a meso above us. 69 miles per hour. service station, um, you're kidding me, even the sign for the service station is bending around, uh, I'm just, I'm watching to see what is, um, this thing is bending, okay. look at the movement in this, I switch you to 25 shutter speed so you can kind of see the, the, the motion. Like, I don't want to be where a sign gets ripped off and gets embedded into my face. That, we may have lost that. that that's been blown over. Side windows are reinforced. In the storm. behind us we're kind of clear of this at the moment where we are now you might see some high voltage power explosions and lightning and so forth I've got to be 
very, very careful about flying debris. You've got parts of um, building there. Actually, we've got some localized building damage. Ooh, okay, that says a lot. What I don't want to do is have that thing fly back in my face, especially if that gets picked up and thrown. Um, we're, we're going to be doing a lot of spotter network reports here. Um, that could get just picked up and thrown again. Still getting some debris flung at us right here. really watching very carefully like the roof is going to come off or something stupid here's the thing it's like the severe storms already gone past us but amazingly it's still like doing things a lot of tree debris here this is a very very dangerous storm check what's that going on here. I've got current data. My data's good. Right where we are right now is um, really, really strong winds. Like dangerous winds. The trees toppled down here. Make sure I'm not below another tree. Okay, I'm good. This home's good. This is, this is ridiculous. I'm doing 40 miles an hour. What's the speed work? It's one of the stationary speeds here. Mile marker 55. I mean, that thing's. Look at. Look at this. Oh my god. The mile marker is about to get ripped off the thing. Jesus. literally being thrown around right now. You see the, the, the debris flying around in here? I've never seen a storm like this. I've never, ever seen a storm like this ever. Okay, I'm gonna get a quick core sample here. In a safe position. I don't want any debris, I don't, I don't want to lose um, a side uh, window. I'm gonna go just front on. Okay, we're just in, we're in the clear here. No cars coming. This is a downdraft. My God, look at this. Wow, 
273.4 miles an hour right now. This is a very, very, very dangerous storm. But that's um, that's <laughs> well over 100 kilometers an hour. It's, just, it's ongoing, it's not stopping. It's just consistent. So the, the downdrafts from that severe storm uh, are, are clusters like really dangerous. 73.4, we're, we're really getting up there on straight line winds. But it's coming from that storm to the north. The car's just being sucked off the road, look at that, doing 30 miles an hour. See microburst goes through, but it's not where it just sits this long, just the way it is. Like the storm's gone. It should. I mean, there'll be some outflow winds, but not like flying debris, 74 miles per hour, like trees being toppled. With the storm already gone. Like I'm looking at. If you look at uh, Doppler winds, there's, there's, there's absolutely nothing at all. Absolutely nothing at all. Hey, thank, hey, hey, thanks for calling through. Yeah, this is, are you still watching the live stream at the moment? Oh, you, oh, God, good, I wasn't sure if you were still watching it. This is weird, I mean, I can't see this on Doppler winds on the uh, GR Level 3, but you've got, um, yeah, you've, you've got a fair idea what's going on. There's part of a sh shed that's just been ripped to pieces. You'll see that on the live stream, so it's torn that apart. But it's, it's ongoing. It's across the back. I know it's a downdraft from the back of that storm, but what the hell? I was going to say, I had a feeling we're just sitting literally right below the, we're actually kind of in the low. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, so we're, we're just in one giant tornado. Oh yeah, I, I, I lost you. I'll, I'll keep the feed up if you need me. If you need a different handover liaison for someone else, just let me know. Yeah, no, that, no, that, that's fine. Um, but uh, just uh, pass on that link to anyone at NWS for liaison if there's a handover if you if you need to call an item. Okay, so basically it's in the it's in the EOC liaison office. Fantastic. I just wasn't sure if you're finishing up for the night. That's all. Lovely. Fantastic. Um, I'm safe on the roads. I've got my ambers on. There's no traffic, so we'll go from there. Thanks, Tanya. Basically, what we're watching is just <laughs> well, God. Um, Tanya said it best. Um, we've got the upper level low um, just wrapping around. So you know how I said like it feels like we're in a giant giant tornado. It, it's because we kind of out. Ah. Uh, building exterior ripped apart. Um, non-residential dwelling. Just want to make a note: it's uh, non-residential dwelling. Was roofing and Jesus, look at this. Just um, at right, 25 shutter speed. That is incredible. Just the part. It's just watching this. A pretty path. Yeah, it's lost it. It's lost its um, side walls. Uh, just checking for power grid. Hang on. Uh, we may have a um, loose cable down. Tanya, just here. We're going north shortly, but we've still got um, severe winds where we are here. To 
ourselves. And we've got some more, whatever the hell this is. Um, these appear to be just what we saw, the same things we saw earlier in the gas station. You know how we had, um, uh, this needs to be cleaned up. Probably not much more than 30. Yeah, that is um, 33.2. That might gust to 40 here and there. Um, little fire truck just rang up the road here. Nice lightning. And they're obviously doing some damage around, so we've lost power in Fairview. Uh, petrol station's out. Structure, main uh, structure is good. traffic light like stop signs when, when you've got an outage. Okay, we're good there. Nothing, um, no structural damage that can be noted. Okay, okay nice and slightly. So, yeah, complete power outage um, to the area. Sit back and just relax, enjoy the show. We're kind of in line with the wind fields, so if we let go of the wheel, we're only doing 60 speed limits faster, but there could still be some debris, so we're just going to take it easy. Based on the current, what I've seen so far, um, I'm not expecting any debris on the ground. But we're still going to be just below the speed limit anyway, just cautionary. How was that for the show? Well, it's not over yet, by the way, but did everyone um, enjoy the stream today? That was, um, heading to Sydney, Nebraska was the right call. Um, it just, it gives it, for the, those who joined us for the first time this year, um, kind of wonder, oh my god, wow. I'm gonna get a tripod set up. Um, a lot of amble crawlers. Uh, gives you some, just a good idea of storm, dy storm dynamics. You think it's like it's all over, the storm's gone past. Not always the case. Some storms, one after another after another. So if you think you put yourself in a position, you take a dirt road um, to chase a tornado or chase a storm, you think, I'll be fine, the storm will go past. Stand by. keep that radio it's, it, it's, it's not much is it but it's believe me it's running you probably don't hear it right now but believe me it's going right now you hear that tone come through a little lifeline that comes across one of the amateur radio channels lighting up the amount of lightning and just how active it is look at this mother nature's fireworks i've seen some pretty active lightning storms in my time one time in nebraska absolutely incredible storm but this one i tell you what it's almost on par with one of the most active lightning storms i've ever seen in my life some cloud of grounds cloud of cloud it's been a long day, tornadoes and one storm after another. And as we make our way towards our hotel, we're treated to a, a bit of a show. Hope you've enjoyed the live stream. For those who haven't joined us, join us on Patreon. And uh, it's been a very interesting day indeed. But this is the end of the show as we make our way towards the hotel for the night in uh, North Dakota. What an absolutely incredible show whole sky the whole sky just lights up join us live severestorms.com.au check this out